Hi, and welcome to the Pen Hook and Needles podcast. I am Talia, also known as uh, Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry Clerk and Dispatador Elves. I'm Marlisha, also known as Lady Furnico on Ravelry and Clerk and Shadowlight or Shadowlight One on most of my writing sites. Today is May 20th. It is a Monday. And I have just gotten back from New York, and I will talk to talk about that a little bit later. Um, we've I, been running long lately, and I'm going to try to see if I can prevent that. I'll be able to help with that. I don't have a whole lot going on because <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, we She left, and it was like a whirlwind, so I haven't done anything really much this week. So it'll be a little shorter, hopefully, even with her lathering. Well, I'm going to try to keep it somewhat under control. Um, it'll be hard, but I'll try. But in with that in mind, we better get started. Mm-hmm. Uh, you want to welcome the members? And the yes, members? that's actually what I was going to oh, do. Get your tea and your coffee or your water or whatever it is you'd like, whatever libation <laughs> you like. Um, libation. Yes, libation. Usually it's alcoholic, but I was going to say, but it doesn't have to be. Um, and then, or if you want food or something, and we'll wait for you. We'll be here. You can just pause us. Okay, so. Um, it's episode 50. I've already named it, and what I've named it will be more apparent when I'm geeking out. Well, not geeking out. That's for, uh, no, she calls it nerding out. She calls it nerding out. Okay, go. Knit nerd? Knit nerd. Yes. Um, she, always, she always comes up, doesn't she? Yes, she does. We love you, uh, Kathy. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, welcome. We want to welcome uh, one, two, three, four new members. Yay, for new members. Yay. We have 104 members at this time. Um, I want to welcome Y Knits, and that's letter Y, right, and then not the word. K-N-I-T-T. Um, so I want to welcome Yvonne, who is Y Knits. Mm-hmm. Thank you for joining our group. Uh, I thought that was clever. Yes, I did too. Yeah. Uh, if you have not already guessed the Potiversary yarn color, go ahead. And this goes for all members. Right. If you haven't guessed the Potiversary color, and even if you have, I noticed that... Yeah, you can do um, it a couple times. I think it was... Who was it? I can see her face... Uh, her in face. My, in my head. Yes, I can see her face in my head. Not on her, not on my face, in her head. In my head. Her Ravelry... Her Ravelry avatar. I can oh, see her face. Okay. And she had guessed a color, and then she put underneath it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. She can take... You yeah. know who you are. I can't think of your name. I'm sorry. Take it out of that one. You have your... I think you said red, white, blue, and black or something. And then underneath you put Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Take your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out and make it another Again. entry. Yeah, because you, you can enter it as many times as you want. It'll just give you two chances to win. You don't have to put it in the same thread. Yeah. And I didn't want to I didn't want to post anything in there because it'll mess up the number generator stuff. Yeah, I don't care. I would just, if, if we came up, I would just make it go again. That's okay. All. Well, it anyway, hurt us. Um, so please, you know who you are. Um, go ahead, put your Ninja... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Teenage guest in um Turtles, in another in another entry. Teenage so you have two. Ninja Turtles, you know, somebody Turtle liked power. the fact that I said I would flick you. I think I will. I think it was Hank's mom. <laughs> it was Hank's mom. That's for Hank's mom. <laughs> Hank's mom. <laughs> Hank's mom. <laughs> I got her flicked twice before she tickled me. <laughs> Behave yourself. It's not fun. I know. You were not. Stay on this earth to have fun, Miss Fernandez. Oh, I love that movie. That is from Big T- Trouble in China. China. Misquoted, of course. Of course. Okay. Um, anyway, um, <coughs> I was welcoming people sure. before I got unceremoniously attacked. Um, the next member <laughs> we wish to welcome is... That's a knot. <laughs> it is, in fact, a knot. It is, is not I love knot. my iPad, who is Sue. So welcome aboard, Sue. Sue. Um, thank you for joining, and the knot is gone. Okay. Um, next, I would like to welcome Knitting is my mom. No, excuse me. Knitting is mom's bag. Right. That's who, uh, Lois's daughter. Yes, Lois's daughter. Yeah. So who's knitting my bag? Um, but we want to welcome her. What's her name? She doesn't have her name. She yet. doesn't have her name. Um, um, she's really sweet. Just as sweet as her mom. Really, she's she's really nice. So she's brand new. Welcome aboard. Knitting is my is mom's bag. I keep on wanting to say is my mom's bag, yes. but it's not. Knitting is mom's bag. I think she's helping Lois in the shop, in the Etsy shop or whatever. 
But is it Lois still on it? No, it, it, is it Lois still on Big Cartel? Big Cartel, yeah. Most yeah, people yeah. are now. Yeah. Well, not most. I think um, somebody w was on Big Cartel and went back to Etsy. I think it was Rachel who went back. Oh, okay. Um, um, it's not for everybody, um, Big Cartel, but people like it. I like the setup. I do. Um, and last but not least, I want to welcome Heather WB. Yes. Who is, well, Heather. Heather, yes. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Welcome aboard. We do have a podcast. <laughs> She's going to smack you one. Hey, you were the one who told tales. Yes, but I was, huh? I didn't tell tales. I told the truth, and I was very nice about it. I was not snide. 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 <laughs> she missed me a whole lot when I was gone. So much. Don't cut this laughing because I wrote on the clerk um, something about, is it silly to... To miss her, like she just left, and sometimes like no, <laughs> so she can say yes, she did. Yes, I know. I can't really blame her. No. <laughs> I love you. I don't know why. I, I mean, love she's you. just a pain. Mm -hmm. I just miss having some with her. Yes. Do your anyway. Um, do your we wanted to be a little faster than that, but thankfully we're only at 19 minutes, so we yes. can do this. Um, um, did we want to go right into the Potiversary stuff, or did we? Yes, let's go into the Potiversary right. stuff. Okay, we but have. Uh, we can kind of make it fairly right. concise. Well, we want to hit first the, um, not the Potiversary, but the hundred member giveaway. giveaway. We did mention that we have um, 104 members now. We're really excited about that. Where we have, um, I think it's eight prizes, so we're excited about that mm -hmm. as well. And if we have time, we'll show it to you again this week. If not, we'll show it to you next week. Um, what the prizes are. We have had an addition, which is nice. At least we can show the addition. Yes, the addition was gifted to Talia by Miss Babs with one of her orders. And I don't want to show you the pattern, but I mean the actual pattern, so you can see this. And since I don't make a whole lot of socks, I figure someone else can get good use out of it. It's called the Dolomite Sock. And I think she said that it's a pattern she no longer carries. It's so a celebration of our new website. We're giving away patterns we no longer carry. If you will not use this, please pass it on to a friend. So we are passing, passing it, on. it on to you, okay, to some lucky winner. Um, Miss Babs, I love Miss Babs. And I, I'm sure her patterns are very good. I, I've never used one, but I'm sure. I don't know if she good. wrote the pattern, if it's just someone who, um, uh, I don't know if she... So I don't know. I I haven't attempted it because there, the copyright is to Ann Hansen. So it's another designer. Um, but if Miss Babs is carrying it, I'm sure she's very good. Yes, I'm sure she is. Um, so. so that's the addition to the prizes. But we also had a book and five yarns and bags and bags. Two so bags. so please put your guesses out there. If you have more than one guess, more than one um, chance, chance, more than one entry. Okay. Um, then on to the pot anniversary. That is. We we're going in full oh, swing. Oh, and we're just a reminder that to get a chance to win one of the prizes we mentioned, you have to guess the Potiversary yarn color. Right, right. Whatever um, you think it is. And um, you have to have as many guesses as you'd like. And the guesses have been really fun so yes, far. They have. Some of them make me scratch my head, and some are like, oh, yeah, they're really paying attention. <laughs> so I'm, I'm interested in seeing the rest of the, uh, of the guesses. guesses. Yes. yes, I'm excited about that. Um, but they're all fun, all of them. Yes, I'm <clears throat> thoroughly enjoying this. I have yes. such a good idea. You have them once in a while. Once in a blue moon. I heard you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the other thing is the Potiversary, which we're going to be doing in July. I still haven't had a chance to get a hold of somebody. Uh, well, I can't talk about that right now. So I guess forget it. Rewind it. Erase it. I, I didn't say anything. We are... Um, going to have the yarn available. Um, we're still waiting for Kimberly. I know she has to um, get it dyed up. She's working it for us. Um, I know it's, she's doing a gradient, um, and that's all I can tell you about it. Um, but she's uh, working it for us, and it should be done pretty soon. She should have pictures for us pretty soon, and then we'll be able to show you the actual yarn once we pick the winners. Yes, yes, once not pick beforehand. The not, not beforehand. Um, so... No um, cheating. No cheating. No patty fingers, if you please. But um, we have a couple. We have a couple other things. We're hoping to be able to um, give you a couple of other um, prizes for the potiversary, but we're still working on that. So um, that's all we have to say about that. I think. Do you have anything? To say no, that's all I can think about. Because yeah. there's not a whole lot to say about the potiversary. Right. Because we we don't want to give away anything. Um, but we have been at a year of this podcast being around. Yay! Woo! Okay. 
Uh, all right, so that's, I guess, I forget who it is who calls it housekeeping. Um, I think it's Stockton and Zombies call it something like housekeeping. No, they call it... Um, administrata. Administ who is it that calls it housekeeping? Ah, sure. Okay. Um, okay, so how many wh whips do you have? I oh, have a lot. I only have one, so... Uh, so um, I'll start. Yeah. You can do a couple of them. Okay. So, um... Well, one I'm just going to go ahead and talk about because it's very quick. I did have this one started because it is gauge swatch, and then I determined that my needle size was too big for my gauge, so I went down a couple sizes. I started Young Einstein, Young Einstein Pattern by Julia Stanfield. I started the gauge swatch for it. And I'm calling it Young Philosopher because uh, the friend <laughs> I'm giving it to. Sorry, I just got it. Um, I'm giving this baby sweater to my friends James and Eliz. Uh, they're they just found out they were pregnant last week. Um, and James was a philosophy major um, at school. I think that was his master's because he was a history. Um, um, bachelors. So I'm calling it Young Philosopher because of that. Um, this is a Julia Stanford pattern. I was using US 7s. The US 7s gave me four and a half inches with 20 stitches. I needed 20 stitches with four inches. So I'm going down to size five needles. If that turns out to be too small, I know to go with size six. So um, I'm going to cast that on again after this. So I was going to have something to show you, but now I don't. Yarn color. <laughs> That's all I, this is what was my swatch. That was my swatch. Maybe you can pull it back and I get a better reading. Do we have lights on it here? It's not. No, but we don't really need it. It's the darkest yarn. It's Dublin. It's, it, yeah, it's called Dublin, but it looks kind of like a forest green. Yeah. I like Pretty. it. Um, I know it's a dark color for a baby. For baby. Don't say it. Don't <laughs> even say it. To me, this is something funny. Yeah, yeah. That. Well, funny in a morbid kind of, oh, Davina, you should never say that ever to anybody ever again. <laughs> but I wanted to. Davina's like, well, it's so dark. You shouldn't use that color for baby. You should have, like, spring colors and pastel colors. It's like you're mourning, like, the baby died. <laughs> I'm just like, no. <laughs> she says things like that. Oh, my. She said something like that about a friend of ours who's in his 90s and said, uh, what did she say? Um, oh, he'll be dead any time soon. Yeah, he'll be dead any time soon. That, that's the Asperger's lack of social skills. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, I, dear. I, yeah. Every once in a while she comes up with one of those gems. Yes, and you just hope that you're not with anybody else. At the time. At the time, who doesn't Get understand. It. <laughs> so, yes. yes, it's not that the baby died. The baby's fine. The baby is fine. This is just a pretty color. It has purple with it. Here's the color that'll go with it. It'll keep it from seeming like the baby died. <laughs> Although that is a Lenten color. <laughs> <laughs> this is fairy tale. Babies yes. do not die in fairy tales. Unless it's a brother of script. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> that's not I don't like this conversation. Move on. Okay. Anyway, Move on. Baby is fine. Baby's fine. Happy purple baby. Happy purple. <laughs> Well, I don't think she watches the podcast. Um, I don't think Angela watched the podcast either. True. <clears throat> so, it's in a happy llama bag with green and purple. With a creepy llama on it. <laughs> you know what? Moving on. <laughs> it reminds, this one here, this one llama, this yellow one, reminds me of the guy from the llama on that. that oh, um. um David, Ever's Groove. Ever's Groove. Yeah. Ever's Groove. Groove, yeah. Okay, anyway. That's that project. And keep this yarn in mind because when I get into my projects that I'm going to be doing, it'll come into play. Yeah. Um, and this is a Knit Picks uh, Bravo Worsted. Mm -hmm. My first time actually using it. I like Bravo Worsted. Um, I'm going to mention another project because Mom only has one and I don't want to. Um, uh, yeah, just go ahead and move into it. So. Hang on, hold on. I, know, I see yeah. it. There we go. The next one I wish to talk about is Heavenly Sapphire. My sweater. Mom's sweater. 
You guys have seen the back, back 20 million times. I don't think I'm going to show this time. Okay. That's that when crying. He's boo-hooing all over his tights. He doesn't boo-hoo. He's, He's a tough guy. He's all over his tights and they're going to shrink. <laughs> I hope not. They're tight enough for that. <laughs> um, anyway. In my medium-sized Target Target bag, bag by the Cloverbird. Yes. Is the left front of Mom's sweater. And I really got a lot done on it. You did, yeah. I was... Hang on. I pulled a Lindsay. Oh, okay. Let me quickly adjust that. I was on the train working on this um, from Pennsylvania. Well, actually, it's from New Jersey. From New Jersey to New York. And I spent half an hour on the way back from... Um, New York to New Jersey, um, talking to a girl who lives in New Jersey but works in New York, was originally from New York. Hey, Yvonne from the train. We hope you're here. If you have found Ravelry, if you have found, found the podcast, hey. Join us. Join us. I hope you found the YouTube uh, knitting uh, videos that I mentioned to you on the train. Anyway, she really wanted to learn how to knit. She knows how to knit, but she doesn't know how to purl yet. And we spent half an hour from New York to New Jersey talking about knitting. She was really interested. And this is what I was working on at the time. I really hope she finds Ravelry and YouTube uh, videos for learning to knit, because she seemed really interested. Okay, so this is where the cuff will be. I've started the neck decreases where you see the safety pin. And, yeah, it's on its way. Very nice. I think I was down here somewhere last time because I, I hadn't reached a safety pin yet. So I got a lot done in New York. <clears throat> um, although there was a point where there was a huge rush to get on the train um, to New Jersey um, from New York because for some reason they thought it was intelligent to post the time for the train only 10 minutes before it came and then there was this teeny door this huge crowd had to go through it was horrible and grandma turns to me and is just like maybe you should start poking people with your knitting needle <laughs> <laughs> grandma said that? grandma said that this is my mother uh, my gentle sweet mother because we were crushed just trying to get to the door to get on the train in time and that was my grandmother's solution to that was to poke people with my knitting needle <laughs> Um, there's the grandma. <laughs> we didn't say that didn't happen. I didn't want to ruin my knitting. Anymore. Yes. But I thought that was funny. Anyway, so a lot of projects got done on that. Do you want to do one? Uh, yeah. I am basically, I was basically monogamous this week for, for what I was doing. I have about one and a half rows left on this. Um, Woo! Before I start putting the, uh, you know, start working on the hood part of it. See, it's really grown. This is the um, the, the hoodie hoodie bird blanket pattern by Stacy Troth. I call it the cherry, the cardinal hoodie hooded uh, baby blanket, and it's made for my friend and hairdresser um, Tabitha's baby, the little boy. Um, and like I said, it's only about I've only got about um, one and a half more rounds to go before I have the 30 inches, and I can start working. On the hood, the feet, and the beak, the eyes, that kind of thing. I do have to weave in a lot of ends. Well, not a lot, but enough. Cause I, the um, ball winder <laughs> wouldn't allow me to put the whole skein of yarn in one cake. For some reason, doesn't like I love this yarn. It kind of gets really loose when I... That's why I ball everything. So it hurts my hands to ball the yarn, though. Mm -hmm. So, um, Which is why I got the ball winder to begin with. I did a ball winder for my things that are in hanks, but I found the things that are in um, skeins don't wind up in the, into the cakes nearly as well. And that's what I'm finding as well. So I t if I know that I just have a couple of balls to do, a lot of times I'll go ahead and do that, or I'll pull the center skein out and hope it doesn't tangle. Um, so this is by Stacey Trock, and I'm using a um, an H hook, 5 millimeter hook, and the yarn is uh, Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. I'm using red black, I think it's a golden yellow, and uh, scraps of white for this. And that's basically, you know, what I'm doing on this. It's all single crochet in the round, and uh, 
Let's just go to the work. Okay, so me again. Um, the next one I wish to talk about. Ooh, I've worked a lot on this. Um, did you ever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, before I go on to that, I want to point out something. I remember I said I was going to cast on to US 5 um, oh, for yeah. mm -hmm. my um, young philosopher. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but Nip Hicks has started marking their tips because I had to order new tips. Well, at least they're metal ones. At least they're metal ones. I don't know about their wooden ones. I have to check my twos and see if they did them. Um, I don't think you can see it. I, you can't even see it hardly. Yeah, I see it a little bit. It's very faint there on the on the tip on the uh, end there. Of the there. I mean, you can barely see it, but right there. There, you can see it right there. Yeah. Five. And it says the millimeters as well. They're starting to mark their tips, their metal tips, which is awesome. I mean, I now have a bunch of gauge, um, bunch of needle gauges, but. It's really nice to know that they're starting to, met, not, to mark their metal tips. I'm hoping they mark the wooden ones too. I haven't used their metals yet, but I like their uh, wooden ones. I hope they mark the uh, tips. I get them mixed up. But I was going to talk to you about um, my study in Scarlet, which is the whole Aloha uh, Mystery Cow. It's no longer Mystery Cow. I think she's selling it. This is an old pattern. Oh, yeah, now. she's been selling it for a while. Um, by Mel Ski. Um, I make it for me using US 6s, and I was supposed to use US 5s when I go down needle size. I know it's pretty sleeves. I went down to US 4. So I'm going to do that for the second sleeve as well. Um, well, no problem. No, no harm, no foul. Um, Stonehenge Fiber Mills, Shepherd's Wool, and the Garnet Colorway. And it's for me, myself, and I. Three people. Yes, it's both the personality. I need to weave in a bunch of ends, but. I worked on this. We have a weaving party. Yeah, I worked on this all the way to and from um, Philadelphia. Except when you were working on my. Like, no, but I worked on your sweater in New York. I thought you worked on the train. You said you were working on it when you talked to her. Yeah, well, I worked on it on the train, which was New York to New Jersey and New Jersey to New York. But I worked on this in the car oh, from yeah. Philadelphia to New York, yeah. and from Virginia to Philadelphia, and Philadelphia to Virginia. So. This was my car project. Okay, so yeah, one sleeve is right. done, as you well know, and I've got quite a bit done on the second sleeve. I'm in the broken rib section. But well, you could almost end it with that broken rib like a cuff. Yeah. Pretty cool. Um, and so good, good progress made because I think I was somewhere up here. Are you showing the back? No, I'm showing the back. It's the way it's being held. Oh, okay. So. That's really pretty. I like it. We got quite a bit done. I'm very happy. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> I might have this sweater done in time for retreat. Some of guys. Um. Maybe nice we have our belief shawls done by now. I don't know that we will, but yeah, it'd be nice. So let me stuff this back in the bag. Okay. And that is that one. Um, next project that I need to show you is Bayou, which is the Oliver pattern by Sandra Poli. Okay, still good on time. Um, and you've seen him before. He's cute. He's a little guy. My colors are different, though. Unfortunately, in some ways, he looks like he's puke green. <laughs> That's because he's in the River Moss colorway um, by Moose Manor Hand Paint Superwash Sock. The color can look anywhere from a yellowish, greenish, pukish color to like this pretty yellow red to yellow brown. And unfortunately, sometimes it decides to keep that puke color. <laughs> so, yeah. I've completed all the pieces for the bear itself, and I did the right front for the sweater. The little arm section. Actually, that's the arm shape. Yes, it is. The little front arm section, little right front. 
and the little left front, so it's like that. So we've got a little sweater <laughs> started, and all the various bare pieces in this color. And they look green right now. They always do in here. Although the screen's captioned to look almost like brown. Mm. It looks mossy to me. Yeah. <clears throat> so, I think it'll look good with this, though. I think so. Um, yeah, it looks very mossy here. I don't think the screen necessarily captures that. Except from far away. So, all the different bare pieces are here. I seem to be on a green and purple kick right now. Except for my red blanket. <laughs> Let me just throw all this back in here. Okay. So next part to do would be to start the sweater back. And then the little sweater sleeves. And I'll be able to attach all the pieces. Well, I had to first uh, wet block them. Steam block them. Ooh. Are they acrylic? No. Do you steam block the block the natural? Well, it tells me the pattern to make it go flat. Okay. Because it said if it's not a curl, it tends to curl, and it is definitely curling. So, uh, shoot, 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 that's that one. I'm using US 2s for that pattern. Next pattern, I guess this is the last one to show. It's not, it's in here not because it's big, but because I want to take advantage of the fact that Slipstitch Studios has this made perfectly for if you need to work color work. Because it has two of these little thingies. I'm not sure what you call it. No, grommet. It's not, well, it's not a grommet. The grommet is the. Yeah. yeah. It's two of these clippy things to hold your yarn with pockets to hold your individual yarn. So you can work color work without your yarn being tangled. So you see. You might have that too? Slip to studies? Yeah. Okay. The big ones. Um, I have to remember that. For color work. So I'm working. I was calling it the Justice League blanket. And then I found some patterns. Um, I so, actually found yes, them. Yes, Mom found them. <laughs> for charts online, that make 14-inch blocks, basically, for not just the Justice League. She has everything. But X-Men and a bunch of the Avengers. So I'm just scrapping the Justice League blanket and making a whole big superhero blanket. And this lady's fantastic. I had written her because I've been on a love-hate relationship with blocks and, and squares and things, and I've been leery about doing something like this because I, I want it all to come out the same size, and I just never can get the right gauge consistently. And I'm looking at her stuff, and I wrote to her because, you know, she's really fired me up mm -hmm. to want to do this. You know, she's got uh, literary things. She's got superhero things. She has all kinds oh, of Oh, she has musicals. Everything. And so I wrote, to her, I wrote her, and she wrote me a really nice note. I have to answer her still. Um, saying that if I wanted anything that she, I didn't see, she would develop it for me. She seems like a really nice person. I wish I could remember what her name was. Maybe and I'll find it. I don't have it here, but I'll find it next time I actually start. And she does them for free. She does, does them for do, free. She does them for free. So she's fantastic. Um, but I haven't got any of her started yet because I started mine first. Right. I developed a pattern, I guess you can call it a pattern, for a Nightwing Square. And I adjusted it before I had it small to match the other squares. I adjusted it to be big like her squares. So here it is so far. I like it already. I think it's turning out well. That's the bottom. Um, it'll go straight like this for a little while and then it'll start into the wings mm -hmm. um, for the night wing. Um, the stylized stuff. Yeah, so, right. stylized night wing. So it's on its way. I really kind of like how it's turning out. You said you're going to do Batman and uh, Superman over again, right? Yes, because I want to do the other girls' pattern for that. So, I'm very happy with this. Um, and I, it's going along quickly. It won't be reversible like I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I've decided I'm alright with it not weaving in 20 million ends. Mm -hmm. I'm okay and it's with not that. that bad. It's not that bad. I mean, people are going to go, oh, this is the wrong end. This is it's not that bad, yeah. really. But here's the right end. There's the right yeah. end. Yeah, I mean, you just get a little more blue in the back. That's all. Yeah. It's not a big deal. So I'm quite happy with this. <clears throat> um, and it feels nice and warm. It's single crochet with, that, with that the a, chart I'm working. Uh, I love this one. This, this is, is feel like I love this one. It's, it's just very um, mm -hmm. tightly done. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, I love this yarn with the neon blue for the Nightwing symbol. And then just plain black. And yeah, it's a chart of my own making. So we'll see how this turns out. 
that's all for works in progress. I do have an FO. Oh, you're missing. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kathy, I have finished the hands of blue, which is are the crochet fingerless TARDIS gloves that you gave me. Um, Kathy of Knitner Podcast, Kathy uh, 913, gifted me um, the crochet fingerless TARDIS gloves by Carissa Knox. I use the USH hook um, to make it, and I use Red Heart Classic in the Skipper Blue colorway with some white that I found. I'm pretty sure I love this yarn white. So, I like them. They turned out well, I think. Um, they are perfect for driving. A lot of times when I've been driving in the cold, I wish that I would have that extra um, little part to cover my fingers a bit better. Not so good for knitting with, but my, that's what my nightly ones are for. If I wanted to knit with them, I guess I could flip it like that. Can you take it off the thumb or something? Well, the thumb is okay. I, it's just the way I hold my yarn. I right. loop it back on this back finger. But if I flipped it like this, I think I could knit with them. Um, if I did like that. <laughs> but this is very nice for driving. It's very warm. My coworker will not be getting these. Mm -hmm. They do fit. So I really like the pattern. Thank you, Kathy. It's nice and long. Mine turned out, even though I got the same gauge as the girl who made them, mine turned out bigger than hers. So go figure that. I like it. But I'm very happy. I don't have a good topic. Okay, Tay, so that leads us on to stash enhancement. Okay. Um, hang on, look at Let's start with the non-New York stuff. Okay, I don't have any non-New York stuff. I, oh, yeah, I do have something. Um, I'll start with my first yeah, arrival, Miss Bath. So I got some Miss Bath. Um, this is the Obsidian colorway. And this is her Yowza What a Skein. I got four of these. And she reminded me in her note to alternate skein. I do not know how to alternate skein. My thought was that if you alternated skeins, you'd have one skein and then the next. Yes. But that's not really alternating skeins. So, for all you all more experienced knitters who alternate skeins, if you could let me know what exactly Kathy. that is. Kathy. Kathy says she's never done it. I know. Um, I think she said she was starting to do it. No, she was going to do it for the whole Aloha and decided not, not to. to yeah. So, you experienced Alternating scanners. Denise, inform me, educate me. Um, also, with this pure awesomeness, I got four of them, so I can have a sweater's worth. She also gave me a little swatch of her yummy sock yarn, and it's the bell colorway. They're pretty. I think this is sock weight, isn't it? It is sock, sock weight. weight. Yeah, I remember it's yummy sock weight. Yeah. Um, and her little note that said, um, don't forget to alternate skeins. Uh, let's see. Oh, and she gave me a little notebook with it. Well, I guess not a notebook. It's sticky notes. Note. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's cute. And it says Miss Beth. So it was happy. Let me put all this back in here. Oh, and there's pretty paper. She has her own special massage paper. Yeah, I love paper. the massage paper. Um, and her special massage sticker. I didn't get it that when I bought it from the shop. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he bought it in, per in person. I bought it in person. Not buying I got to talk to Miss Bab, though, so that was cool. I got toys. I get toys when I order something. So. Then, my second set, and that's how it looks when it's wrapped up. I, okay. She does such a nice wrapping job. Right? Yeah. This is the fountain pen. It's such a pretty color. I love Look it. at that. And that is coming up really true to color. It is beautiful. I, I like that color. Good. It's beautiful. So, I'm very happy with it. Four skeins of this as well. I suppose I'll have to alternate skeins with that as well. She had to dye it special for me because she said that otherwise 
um, it would be too much of a difference. She gave me Yummy Sport Yarn in the light clematis colorway. Um, looks very close to Belle, actually. Yeah, it does, but it's definitely it's different. different. Yeah. And what I am really psyched about is the Miss Babs tape measure. Very cool. So I can always use new tape measures. So I'm very happy with this. I can't wait to eventually use her yarn. I have a bunch of sweater <laughs> yarn waiting to, begging to be the first one used. So I'm not sure if hers will be first or not. I think that my soft yarn sweater has been waiting longer. Of course, we have the uh, shawl to be first. Yes. Um, so there's that. Um, you can do yours. Okay, I really don't have much in the way of stash enhancement. In fact, this just came in today. My nephew, um, a while back, was doing some fundraising for his school. And I'm hardly show you. Can you find something that you want to get? And uh, magazines. So I got this quick and easy crochet, and it comes in uh, spring, summer, winter, and fall. So I got a new issue. The last issue I really liked. This one not so much. Um, I don't. It's, it's basically, the good thing about this is that it really, it's almost like having a book of patterns. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, there's, I mean, there's, a couple, there's advertisements, a couple of advertisements, but there's no chatter. If you, you know, there's no articles or anything. It's just patterns. Patterns. Um, you know, you have a couple of advertisements. Got your charts along with your patterns. I can show you this. You're not going to be able to get too much out of it anyway. So, um, and they have like maybe four to eight patterns in it, give or take. And uh, I haven't done anything with it yet with any of these, but I've gotten I think I've gotten two or maybe three of these. Um, sometimes, like I said, you get some you get a lot of really good ones. Other times, not so much. And I guess it's kind of hit or miss kind of thing. I like this shawl; it's kind of pretty. This wrap and lace. It's kind of pretty. Um, there's a couple of blanket patterns. There was one that I actually thought about doing for a baby gift, but I don't know exactly where it is at this particular moment, so I'm not going to look for it. it has, this one has some Tunisian crochet stuff, which I was trying to learn to do again. So it might come in handy for that as well. And not again as in she learned it already, but she's going to try once more to learn Well, it. I did do Afghan crochet or Tunisian crochet back before you were born. Um, that's what I tore. I, I, Eons ago. Yes, ages ago, back when the dirt was being formed. Um, I was doing a blanket. I tore it all out um, and made a different blanket for my parents out of the yarn. So that went away. Because I wanted to do cross-stitching on it because I do, I do a lot of cross-stitching, or I did at one time, and I was going to cross-stitch on it. But... Things got going, you know, like I got, she was very close to being born and we moved and all this kind of stuff. I just stopped doing Tunisian crochet. So. Now, if you started doing Tunisian crochet, do you think you'd pull out your cross-stitching again to cross-stitch on it? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. It's a possibility. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to see the little squares now, even with my glasses. So, But that, my husband got me that really nice magnifying light, so it might be okay. Okay. Now, here is the New York section. Yes. If you do not wish to see the New York section, you may leave now. Just remember to put in your color, yes. um, your pot of pot of anniversary yarn colorway guest um, when you visit the group. And we've been very happy to have you, and glad you came to talk to us, and all that lovely jazz. And we hope to see you yeah. next week. Yes. I guess Sabina must be. Sabina must be in there doing something. Okay, but. Um, if you do not wish to see the New York section, that's fine. That's great. We will see you next week. Yep. See you next week. Have um, fun. So have a great time knitting and crocheting, and we will see you. Okay. Are they gone? There are somebody's looking at the corner. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. They can hear part of it. Uh, New York section. Spent two days in New York. Um, came in early Thursday morning. Uh, walked from no, you left. You left here Thursday. You left here Thursday. You Friday it. morning. Yeah. Went there early Friday morning. Yeah. 
If you hear piano in the background, it's Davina practicing piano. Yeah. She normally is not supposed to do our podcasting. Yeah, she just forgot. Yeah. It's okay. We're almost at the end. Um, so we went, we took the train early Friday morning, um, got there around 8.30, 9 o'clock, and then we walked until 10 o'clock at night. She had not had the experience with walking with my father. My father does not know the meaning of the word stop, rest, wait, I want to see this. <laughs> She's like, woo! So you're and taking pictures on the fly. You're like, oh, hey, look at that. My father's 74 years old. And he's like, whoosh. You know, I think he's 74. Thankfully, he was wearing a bright orange windbreaker. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd lose him. You, need, you know what you need for my father? You need one of those things that you put on kids. He doesn't carry a cell phone. No, no. So if you lose him, he's gone. Yeah. Um, I started keeping track of where streets were. It got to the point where I probably could have found my way back to the hotel at the very least because I kept track of where we were going, where things were because I figured at some point I was going to lose my grandfather. Yeah. It was just inevitable. <laughs> um, my grandmother and I had the cell phone so we could at least find each other. <laughs> and grandma stayed close to you anyway. Yes, yeah, she did. Yeah. Um, but my father is like, yeah. He says, Poof. He's awesome. gone. He doesn't want to, he doesn't wait to see anything. He figures if he kind of saw it while he was walking by, that's why. That's seen. So. Mm -hmm. But I got to see a lot of New York that way. <laughs> I walked all over New York. <laughs> um, but got to see Times Square in the daytime and at night. It was really weird seeing costume people around, like, mingling with everyone else. She showed us pictures. I said, it looks like Disneyland or something. And that was just normal walking down Times Square. They wanted tips for taking pictures with you. You had your cartoon characters during the day, like your... Pookie Monster and Mickey Mouse and those kind of people. And at night you had Iron Man and Spider-Man. Iron Man Spider-Man caught me taking pictures, so I wanted to get a crowd shot of him. Just wanted to get a crowd because it made me giggle. Um, and they caught me and yanked me in for a picture, which in retrospect was cool. At the time I was kind of startled and didn't really want to get caught. Because <laughs> you have to pay him, though. Well, you don't have to. but You don't have to, but Spider-Man with a very thick accent of some sort made sure I was aware that he wanted a tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. So, um, who knew? <laughs> yes. <laughs> One Iron Man was fine. He posed for me and everything. Um, but this particular Spider-Man and Iron Man wanted to make sure they got their tip. Um, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Got to see a lot of places. Um, while I was there, I went to M&M World. Mom and Dad, they're M and M. That's their their first initial. My husband's Michael, so um, and I'm Marlacia, so M and M. And I picked up some a shirt for Davina at M and M World because it said New York and is pink and cute and Davina E. Um, girly. Yes. Uh, and I think the cut will be really cute on. Yeah. Um, and then I picked up for Dad a shirt with a shocked looking M and M on it. <laughs> Um, and then for mom. Yeah, mine, I'll do this one first. Um, she got me, this is an apron, you can't really tell because it's still stuck together. But this is an apron and a hot pad. I think I'm going to hang it on the wall. I think she's going to use it because that's oh, what I got it for I you for. Get Look at this. The m and I love M&M's. I just think that, in fact, one of the first bags I bought was from Brightcraft, and the reason I got it from her was because it was M&M's. <laughs> I love M&M's. And it was a good bag, too, but I didn't know anything about her. But she... So don't apron and oven mix. Apron and oven mix. I love my M&M's. So, and it was perfect. As soon as I saw it, I knew that was going to be the perfect gift. For $5 more was my order. With my order. With my uh, purchase, I could get a bag. Right. And so my my lowest bag, my ferret bag, is with my um, hoodie blanket that I'm making. Live in this M and M bag. It's huge. It is. It's absolutely. It's enormous. yeah. It's I mean, it's just huge. It's a it's. I mean, it's just got so much room, and I've got two skeins of yarn, two almost full skeins of yarn, plus my lowest bag with the blanket and everything in here. I still have room to spare. Much. Room. I mean, I I'm gonna end up putting my huge blanket in here, I think, because it's even bigger than my Maryland sheep and wool. Yeah. And it's just. The only word I can think of, and I don't even use this word, is ginormous. I mean, it's just huge. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. 
I could almost get inside of this. <laughs> this is great. I love it. And it's all M&M's. M&M's. I like the new brown one. She's cute. I like the blue one. The blue, I love blue. And so there's my blue one. Um, and the brown one is kind of cute with the glasses. Yeah. Um, she'll say a sexy librarian. Yeah, she okay. does. Maybe that's the one who's supposed to be wearing Fox Bunny's sweater. <laughs> but yeah, so I really like this. I, that's my stash enhancement, my M&M stash enhancement. M&M World. We went to the M&M World in Las Vegas. I think that the one that Ty went to in New York was probably bigger. It was huge. It was a couple. It. it was two floors. So it was the one in Las Vegas that didn't have anything like this. And they had a dancing M&M guy. <laughs> uh, which was cool. Um, then, good, we're doing it on time. Um, my final geekery is we went and we saw Newsies on Broadway. Hence the Newsies cap, which actually says Disney's Newsies musical on it. And, and throughout the, the musical, they're slapping each other with the hats because they're a bunch of boys. They're kind of un, uh, unruly and such. Got my Newsies shirt. Got the soundtrack, which I have had in my head ever since then. The movie was decent. The Broadway musical is phenomenal. It's been this is it's only been on for a year on Broadway, from what I understand. So phenomenal. Um I still have my tickets. We had orchestra center orchestra seats. We could almost touch well, we were a little far back to touch, but we could see their faces very, very well. Um we weren't that far from them. And when they tore up newspapers, people a few rows in front of us could easily have caught those newspapers they threw down. So we were really close. And we got it on discount. I think we got like 40% off because we picked it up that day. We were lucky to get what we got. Um, I will not be forgetting that experience. Um, here's the bill that they were passing out when they were selling tickets. I think it might have some pictures in there. Yeah. Put a little closer. So newsies. Um. The playbill. Now the guy who uh, played Jack Kelly is not the guy who's. On this particular, on the front of this playbill, um, this was this particular Jack Kelly, his first um, appearance on Broadway. Corey Cott. So I thought he was kind of cute. These people are cute. What's wrong with Let me see if I can find. They did have a picture of him somewhere in here. If I can't find it, I will. And he's. The, the picture without him in costume, it doesn't necessarily, he had a big old grin that you could see from the, um, from down in the crowd, which is probably why I thought he was cute, because he had a huge grin. Um, it wasn't necessarily goofy. I might have to give up on finding him. Because, ah, there it is. He doesn't look as cute when he's not smiling, but. He looks almost Hispanic or something. He does. The guy who played his second, Davy, looks almost uh, Jewish. Yes. And he was he's in the soundtrack as well. Um, this is the kid that played his brother. Oh, no, um, his brother. These, Jewish, these yeah. three kids shared the role. Oh, did they? But he was the one who played it during our production. Because you can't have one kid. Right, right, right. I oh, actually think it might these two kids. I think this kid played the cripple. Right. Um, Center kid's adorable. Yes, yes. That's the one we had. And there's a point where they like, look sad, kid, and he's, he does this big old sad face. Oh. <laughs> it's adorable. This is the kid we're talking about. He was playing, um, let's see, he was playing Les, Davy's younger brother, um, during our production. And he doesn't look as cute right here because he's not smiling. I wish he would have smiled for his picture because he's actually really cute when he smiles. He's a big old grin. Uh, Corey Cott. So it was quite a fun time.
I had to figure out a good place to put these memorabilia, this memorabilia. But I love the hat. I love how it fits. I love the color. It was a last minute buy because I just was going to do the hat and the soundtrack. And I kept looking at the hats during the musical. And by the end of the musical, I was like, I need to have one of those hats. You just need the shirt and the uh, Yes, I was going to just do the shirt and the soundtrack. Because you said the hat. <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to do the shirt and the soundtrack. Because I thought, oh, I'm not going to wear the hat. And then I saw the hat throughout the musical. I was like, you know, I really do like that hat. I'm glad I got it. This was my, these are my things for remembering New York. Um, yeah, there are probably more things I could say. But what's really, it was a lot of fun. The musical is going to be in my head forever. <laughs> the dancing was phenomenal. Uh, the movie version doesn't even touch the dancing of the uh, yeah, pretty musical. I mean, these guys didn't have much space, and they were doing backflips, and it was just gorgeous to watch. Um, loved it. It was amazing. Anyway, we are getting close on an hour. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Do you I, have anything else to say? I don't have anything else to say to you. I don't think we can see her. Um, no, I, I don't think we need to go through any obsessions. Oh, yes, my writing. Um, I did do a little over 500 words the shared story, which I'm happy about. Not as much as I hope to get done, but I got that done. No real original writing. I did edit. It seems like things are coming into me now writing. I got a, uh, an email from a writing person that I know, a friend, email type friend, uh, a fellow writer who asked me if I would uh, edit her novel. I think I'm going to have to tell her no for the novel because I did edit her short story for her and it took me about two or three hours to do a ten page short story and I can't because I do line by line and I don't feel right charging her and I don't have the time. But the good thing is that she reminded me of um, Tuscany Press's accepting manuscripts and having a contest for novels so it gives me a timeline I have to have my novel in ship shape by June 30th and out to them by June 30th so um, you might see a little less in the way of knitting crocheting from you her might. because she really needs to get on this. I need to get on this I need I need uh, lots of good wishes and it just prayers. means you can have more from me I need a lot of prayers and good wishes please that I can you know that they like it that I get it out on time um, that they accept it, um, and if, if they don't, then at least it's ready. I can send it out to tour or whatever. But I'd like to do this. Um, it's gonna push her. It'll push me a little bit. So I'm excited about that, and I'm hoping that I'm feeling like I would like to do some more writing, which is good. So um, that's basically it. I don't have any thank yous. I don't think. No, nope, but we probably should start. We're almost under an hour. I'd really like to get us out under mm -hmm. an hour because this is the best I've been doing in a long time. Yeah. So. With no further ado, um, thank you for watching the podcast. You're going to see the title is Newsies Related. You probably already did. I'm going to be calling this I'm the King of New York. And if you're a, friend, a, a Newsies fan, you know the song I'm talking about. You probably have it stuck in your head now. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, thank you for watching. Happy knitting and crocheting. We'll see you next week. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye.